Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we are doing the much requested office tour and I don't think my office is perfect by any means, but it's definitely a great space for me to get schoolwork done and then I also have my vanity in here and I like to get dressed and kind of like get ready for the day in here. So I'll start right at my door, but I was going to show you guys that I have this little thing hanging. So I have this little cubicle thing and I will link every single thing that I can that I talk about in this video. So just check the description box if you're wondering where something is from so i got this poster from society six and then this is my little cubicle which is from target i got these cube baskets from the container store and i love this little cubicle because it's a space for me to put decor but it's also functional so i do use it for storage as well um so i just have like you can obviously see the things that are just for decor this little purse and then i have some mules down there and this little basket with some bracelets in it that's mostly just decor i don't really wear those anymore but in this first basket i just have my steamer and then this little thing has some attached for it over here is a bunch of eyeshadow palettes not gonna go through these there's a lot this is my jewelry box it's from Amazon it's a really great little jewelry box if you don't have a lot of space for like a big one I don't think I have anything in this one yet I have books over here most of which I have already read except for these top two this thing is full of more makeup palettes so there's that and then up here I have my oil diffuser going right now with my favorite essential oil this one by aroma this is from target and this is from home goods and then you move over here and this is my desk so i just have my chemistry book on top as well as my notebook my macbook ipad candle that i'm loving right now from target my little animal crossing poster that i always get asked questions about but i can't link it because the reason i got that poster was for pre-ordering the game my lamp is from target this little cork board thing is from michael's and the stickers are honestly just from everywhere. Like I have this wildflower one because I ordered a wildflower case. Be Kind is a brand on Instagram, obviously Glossier, Urban. Um, Starbucks because I love Starbucks. This is from Teleties, which is like a hair tie brand. They make really cool hair ties. And then those are just like some quotes that I really like that I put up there. And then Kopari is actually the name of my Animal Crossing Island. Picture of Chad and I up there too. And of course I have my binder right here for everything for my summer classes. I have the 27 inch iMac. This is a 2019 one and I love it. It's amazing. I have all of the specs listed in an Instagram post under my uh, highlights under favorites i believe if you want to see like the specs or whatever but it's a great computer and then over here my little pencil thing that just says keep calm because usually when i'm sitting here i am not calm oh yeah and my desk i forgot to say is from amazon this thing here looks like the one from ikea but it's actually just from amazon and it's pretty great obviously it's nothing like super fancy but it's perfect because it fits right under my desk like this so i will show you guys what's in here so I have highlighters and extra pens, um, sticky notes over here because I like to use sticky notes a lot when I'm organizing things. This little guy is really cool. So if you have one of the newer MacBooks like I do and you realize it has no USB port, well, all you need to do is get one of these on Amazon because you can plug it in the USB-C and it gives you a spot to put your SD card as well as two USB slots. So it's great. You can charge your phone. You can put your camera in there if you edit videos or anything. So whenever I'm editing on the go, if I don't have this, like I literally can't use my MacBook. I have the Apple mouse in here because I do not like the Apple mouse. I just hate the way it feels. It's not very functional to me. I know a lot of people love it. So I use this uh, Dell one. My AirPods, an extra little wall plug, an extra charger, some more SD cards and stuff, um, a lighter for my candle, graphing calculator, rubber bands, paper clips, my MacBook charger, and that is it for this drawer. We have my JBL speaker, tape, stapler, some handy expo markers for when I like to use my whiteboard to study, and then just some refills on paper clips, staples, and we have like little binder clips. In here, I just have my notebooks. So this one is for note taking. This one I use to plan out YouTube videos. And then this is my Erin Condren planner that I have not used since this whole quarantine thing, but it's the academic one. Over here, I just have stickers. Um, sometimes I like to put them in my planner. Other times I put them on my little cork board. I don't know. I just have a bunch of extra stickers and then my pencil bag. In here, I just have all of my phone cases. So most of these are from Casetify. And then I have a couple of wildflower ones. And then the one that's on my phone right now is actually from Target. This is my keyboard case for my iPad. This is amazing. It's the Apple keyboard case. 
Highly recommend it. It basically turns your iPad into a little computer so you can type on it and all that stuff. And then in the last drawer, I have my GRE test prep book because I'm gonna be starting this during summer B. And oh yeah, this is kind of fun. This has all of my Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. And then I have a molecular kit for chemistry to like build molecules and stuff. This is probably gonna be the most helpful, I think, in organic chemistry. Um, I haven't really used it a whole lot for Gen Chem 1 and I'm in Gen Chem 2 now, so. I also always get questions on my office chair, so I will link this. My string lights are from Amazon. I can link those as well. And then of course we have my vanity over here. This little white desk used to be like my actual desk before I got that one and then I changed it into a vanity. So yeah, this is also from Amazon. I don't really recommend it because to be honest with you guys, it is so cheap, like very cheap. This one is actually not bad at all. This one is pretty cheap, but I mean, it does do its purpose, so if you're on a budget, it would work. And my chair is from Ikea. My big circular mirror is from Target. And then my little vanity mirror over here, which I absolutely love, is from Amazon. I have all of my like hair care products over here and some skincare stuff lotion and all of that and then over here is all of my everyday makeup in this little acrylic organizer and this is also from amazon this little guy here is from tj maxx so it just has little eyelashes and this is where i keep all of my brushes sephora makeup wipes i love the coconut ones and then in this drawer i just have some random stuff some neutrogena makeup wipes and i have my applicator mitt for the loving tan my hairbrush some hair ties and a little bowl that I like to mix my moisturizer in. Then we come over here and I have my giant gold mirror that I actually just recently got. I love this mirror so much. It is from Kirkland's and it's just like massive. So if you have the space for it, it is really, really nice to have like a giant mirror. You can just see your whole look in it and it's also really good for pictures. Over here I have a window, so cool. And then down here is where I keep my heat tools. I got this little basket from Target, it's like like this cool texture. Um, but yeah, heat tools in here. Main thing I curl my hair with is the T3. I've been using this beach waver a lot. I'm obsessed with it. I will link it. it. Gives you really good beach waves. I really am on the lookout for a better hair dryer. So if anybody has any recommendations, this old cheap thing, I've had it for years and it doesn't even dry my hair. And then I have the babyless hair straightener, but I haven't really straightened my hair much. Here is my beloved plant. Yes, this is real and I'm so proud of it because it's literally thriving in here. I absolutely love this plant so, so much. Chad and I got this a few weeks ago at Home Depot, I think. And it's just doing so well. It's actually two different plants. Like this is a different one that's down in here. Um, and it's actually in like a planter, but then I put it in this basket and the basket's from Target. Slide the plant on down so I can show you guys my closet. This is not the most organized, but I did organize it for you guys, like to some degree. This little thing is from Amazon. And when I first got it, I did have it out like on display because it was really fun to plan out my outfits. I decided to move it in here and kind of use it more for storage, but it is really useful. And I think it's under a hundred bucks on Amazon. So it's pretty great. Here are where I keep my current clothes, things that I am wearing right now, like my most exciting things. And then over here is where I have my DSLR camera actually. Um, and then I have some stuff for packing. We have some poly mailers and tissue paper and tape. Down here, I have a bunch of stuff that's currently listed on Poshmark and a bunch of this stuff got sold last night. I was so shocked. I like shared on Instagram and I think I sold like eight things overnight. Actually, I have to pack all of this up and get that ready to go out. I keep my shoes down here. Obviously, this is not all of my shoes. I have a whole shoe rack in my bedroom closet but this is where I keep like shoes that I'm currently wearing, I guess. Um, these shoes I love so freaking much. They're from Urban Outfitters. I've not been able to wear them because I haven't really left the house much because of the coronavirus. Up here in this little pink thing, I have all of my sandals. I have nothing on this shelf. Up here, this one's full of sunglasses. Over here, I have my jackets, a couple of denim jackets. This little thing here is full of stuff, as you can see. It has just like a bunch of random wires and like electronics and stuff. I have like an extra tripod in here, my old camera in here. This little thing that holds your iPad up if you're like reading a digital textbook. My Beats headphones. Um, this is to charge my JBL speaker. So just like random electronic kind of stuff. This thing back here is my ring light and then my North Face backpack, which I haven't been using obviously because I'm not going to school right now. This drawer is filled with some makeup that's not part of my everyday makeup, but just like some extra stuff. 
and here I just have a bunch of extra hair stuff. That last drawer is literally a junk drawer, so I'm not opening it. Sorry, but you guys don't need to see that. And then up here, even though it looks like a bunch of stuff thrown together, I actually did go through all of this. So just have like bags and purses and stuff that I'm not currently using. So, oh, this is so cute. I use my Sephora rewards to redeem for this Rebecca Minkoff little like cosmetic bag. I cannot wait until I get to use it. These are my hats all stacked up. My T3 barrels are in this thing. Um, I have a pair of shoes from Misguided in there that are actually on my Poshmark right now to be sold. This is my other jewelry box that has more jewelry in it, just not stuff I'm wearing every day. That Nordstrom bag has more stuff for Poshmark that I need to list on there. My tripod is up here, and then we have some Christmas wrapping paper because I didn't know what else to do with it, so somehow it ended up being in my closet. And then I have my hats over here, and that is literally it, guys. It took me a little while to actually get my office the way I want it, but I feel like I've actually gotten there. Like this is such a good space for me. I love to study in here. I love to get ready in here. It's like my creative outlet. I still kind of want to come up with like a few more things, maybe for this wall over here. I don't know. I feel like I'm constantly changing things and coming up with new ideas of how I can better my space. So grateful for the fact that I'm able to have this space because I know that for a lot of people, it's very unrealistic to have a bedroom and then have another room where they can have a vanity and an office and all of that. Um, so I know that I'm really lucky. I probably won't have this forever. Like obviously when I'm older and I have like children or something, like I don't think we're just going to have an extra room laying around. But because Chad and I have our own house and we have this extra room uh, I was able to like convert it into like my own little space thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you're not already subscribed be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video